hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great and in this video we are learning about another important topic in electron js that is nothing but code signing so in our upcoming couple of videos we will understand what is code signing how code signing works what are the features and benefits of using code signing and then we will also understand how to implement code signing for our product but before we jump into all such technicalities let's try to understand problem statement first this problem statement will give us brief idea about the topic and then we will be able to understand why the code signing is important so let's take one scenario let's say there is one company name x they have created one product and that product is nothing but desktop application now they are trying to serve their services through that desktop application and they are also charging for their services now since they are trying to create business out of it they will always make sure that their product is good their product is creating values for the people and they will always care about their brand values their customer acquisitions and their expansions so in order to achieve all such goals they will have to deploy and make their product available for the users so now whenever company x will deploy their product that that product will become available across the internet and there will be all type of people there will be a good users there will be a bad users so now the bad users could be anyone it could be a, it could be a curious hacker it could be a business rivals it could be anyone but they will not come with good intention they will always try to harm company x product so now let's take one scenario where company x deployed their application version let's say application version 10 and now that application version 10 is available across the internet and now the person who has bad intention he downloaded that version 10 he tempered something inside the product he add malware or he did something that is not good for the product and then he redeployed that product under the same brand and with the same version now obviously he cannot deploy this modified version on official website of company x but he will deploy this product somewhere where it is easy to accessible for the public users so now the users who are not aware about the security so they don't mind to download the product from any third party resources so now let's say any user downloaded that modified build and he installed that in his machine now he started seeing all bad things started happening after installing that product so now it is quite obvious that this user will blame company x because he will think that he downloaded and installed company X software. But in reality, that software does not belong to company X. It is modified version and it is modified by a hacker. And now in this scenario, if user is too much angry on the company, he will file case against company and that will start creating problems for company X. So now in this case, company X should have something to defend themselves. They have to have something to explain that this build does not belong to them this build is modified but then the question is how will they identify difference between original production build and modified build now if the company don't able to explain difference between actual build and the modified build they will have to face a lot of problems so now here is a list of all the losses that could happen to the company if such scenario happen so the first is legal issue and if the user is damn serious and he file case against the company company will have to hire legal team that legal team will take action and that legal team will take care of explaining the what is the actual scenario but now this thing is but but this process is money and time consuming both the second scenario is financial loss when the company will hire a legal team obviously they will have to pay all the legal team and that will create unnecessary financial loss for the company third thing is user will put his experience on the forums and that will create bad impact brand value that company had already built in between people that will get tempered the company reputation will go down business will also get affected through this fifth disadvantage is trust effect now people will start thinking that this product is not good this product is creating malicious code and let's not install this product let's go for another solution now for a second let's imagine there is no such thing like code sign so in this case company cannot differentiate between actual production build and and the tempered build now in this case even though company is innocent they will never recover their losses 
So now we know why the code signing is important. First, it will help company to avoid financial losses. If there is any legal action taken against the company, company will be able to collect all the evidences easily if their product is code signed. Code signing will also help company to maintain their brand value. For the important point is even though such scenario happened against the company, company business will not get affected because because company will be able to provide proofs. Fourth benefit of using code signing is it will help company to maintain their trust in between people. So now we know why the code signing is important. What are the losses that company can face if they don't follow code signing and notarization process. So in our upcoming videos, we will see more about the code signing. I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.